Okay, now then, in this part of the lesson, we're going to be thinking about calculations and we're going to be using some of those number bonds that you worked on earlier to help you with some calculations that you're going to be doing today. And partitioning to help us when we're adding numbers. Now then, Captain Conjecture has come along again and he's made a statement. And he has said that you can only partition numbers into tens and ones. So we've introduced Captain Conjecture as somebody that comes and makes statements, then when we have to think about whether or not that statement is true or false. If you've got 25, you partition it, let you split the number up. So what would 25 partition into if you're partitioning into tens and ones? <coughs> you're splitting 25. So 25 would be? 20 and 5. Well done. So we've got two tens, 20, and five wow. ones, 5. So 25. So we can partition numbers into tens and ones. This morning, when we had our number bonds to 10, what did we do with our pegs? Did we partition those? No. What does partition mean again, Adam? It means when you split a number up you still get the same answer okay so you're splitting a number up so what did i do with partitioning is about breaking numbers up in different ways and it's very important that they learn that right early on because that's going to help them when they do calculations later on in their schooling you partition them into ones but not into tens ah right because i didn't have multiple tens so here how could i partition my ten then you can't partition the tens numbers I can't partition the tens number. How many pegs have I got here? You've got ten. I've got ten. Adam, what can I partition this into? Um, ones, twos, threes, fours, five, six. So if I if I move this and this, what does it partition into? One and nine. What have I done with my ten? I've split the number <coughs> up and I've partitioned it into one and nine. That's not a tens number. So I can partition numbers not just into tens and ones but i can partition numbers in other ways how could i partition seven. the number seven how many counters am i going to get to help me here how many counters do i need to get seven, please? seven. seven right count with me One, two, three, four, remember to keep five. up with mrs bishop have i done five yet four, no. four, four five, five. So I've got seven counters. Now, if I'm partitioning them, what did Adam say partitioning was again? It's when you can split the number up. OK, so I'm going to split my seven counters. If I move one counter over here, how many counters have I got over here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so I've got six over here and one over here. How many counters have I still got all together, Parker? Ten. How many counters have seven. I got? Seven. I've partitioned my seven counters into one and six. If I move one across, how many have I got on this side now? Two. Two. How many have I got on this side, Jaden? Five. Five. So two and five equals... How else can I partition it then? Laurie? Um, Seven and two. Seven and two. Have a think about what we're saying here. Two and seven. Two and seven. If I had two, have I got seven? How many have I got all together? Seven. Seven. So can I have two add seven? Think about it. Okay, let's see. How else? What could I do? I could move another one across. How many have I got on this side now? Three. Three. How many have I got on this side? Molly? Four. Three four. and four equals... Seven. So I partition seven into one and six, two and five, three and four. What might I partition into next, Kenny? Four and um, three. Brilliant. So I move one across, four and three. What would be next then, Kenny? Um, five and two. Brilliant. And next one, Kenny? Six and one. Brilliant. So look at all those different ways I partition seven. Did I partition into tens and ones? No. no, but I did split the number up in lots of different ways. So, was Captain Conjecture right? False. You can partition numbers into tens and ones, but that's not the only way you can partition them. And we're going to be using our partitioning to help us with our addition today.